I was taking right. I was taking the piss out of um, society and how thick it was and how clever I am above it. And I was using a YouTube direct upload here to do it with. Yeah. And whoever it was, whatever it was, wasn't liking it. it wasn't liking it at all. And they were knackered up my videos, and the evidence is on YouTube. They can see how the videos were knackered. All right. And this video here, which you're not going to get to see, is around about is about cantilevered houses, where you you build sky rises like a high rise flat, but what you do is you have one house per floor, but it's got the you know it's got four bedrooms in it, it's got a couple of bathrooms, it's got a massive kitchen area and everything. It's a massive single floor, but it's all yours. It's like a penthouse, but it's on the floor. And then the second floor is a penthouse, the third floor is a penthouse, up to the 200th floor is a penthouse. But because people like gardens, see this, I'm, I'm watching this program called uh, British Gardens, which are really nice. Uh, I've got the best garden in Britain, it's called like, yeah? And people want that, like, look, we're being brainwashed into having a nice garden. You're getting brainwashed into, look at my garden, be jealous, have, have one, like, yeah? But look how big they are, yeah? So, um... I'm giving them a suggestion on how, how we can all have gardens like this and not waste land and so we can grow stuff and allow the birds and the bees to go around and do stuff like that, like, you know what I mean, and really, really just have a lot of na natural forests around and what have you and a lot more oxygen and stuff. So I'm here making that video and it's frozen up, obviously someone's got really pissed off. Uh, did you see the woman stick the tongue out on the video a second ago as well? Like, go back and watch it again, you'll see the women stick the tongue out on the television, like, yeah? As I was saying it, and they made the TV, they made the computer freeze up, what I'm saying. And I don't know how they do it, they've got little electronic devices like this electronic device here, and they sit outside my house pressing buttons to make things freeze up, is what I'm guessing. Alright? But anyway, besides the point on that one, we're at two minutes, I've got ten minutes, right, so besides the point in that one, the house is, the 200 stories high, right, on the first floor, maybe you have no gardens at all, like, it's just, you know, it's whatever it is around the bottom there, the car parks are underneath the house and runs down car parks, yeah, and then let's say the second floor or the third floor, so you're high enough off the ground, has got the first cantilevered house, probably the first couple of floors are like shopping centres or something like that, like, yeah, and then above that, right, what you have is, um, I can't leave it out from the side of it, or on stilts or whatever, like yeah, a massive garden, right? But it's not a garden; it's just a concrete slab, all right? Which you can put on what you want. You can just have a concrete slab like a patio if you want. But if you want a garden, you can have some soil put into it and grow stuff into it. But it's massive; it's really, really big, and it's that floor's garden. But obviously you can't have them one top because only because the floor's only eight, twelve, twenty foot high maximum, like yeah, it depends how big let's say twenty foot like yeah, each floor is. Yeah. There's not enough space in between the floors to do it. So what you do, you have on the third floor, let's say, you have a north facing garden, so it spreads out two hundred feet out and you get two hundred feet the two hundred feet garden spreading north. And then the next floor, where we've heard the fourth floor, will have an east garden. And then the Fifth floor will have a south garden, and the sixth floor will have a west garden, and then the seventh floor, which is like 50 foot above the first north face one, you'll have a north facing one again, and it'll go round like a helter skelter, a little bit like DNA maybe. So your buildings will look like their DNA, so it'll be beautiful. And when you're in them, they'll be beautiful. And you put cages around the outside of the garden so you stupid kids can't chuck stuff onto other people's gardens. Yeah? But you want to be able to get light in so you make some kind of thing to stop them from doing that. And if the families can't stay in these things without responsibility, they don't get to stay in them. Yeah? They're rich people's houses. No, they are responsible people's houses. If you prove you're responsible, you can have it. It doesn't matter how much money you've got. You're responsible. Council housing like that, proper housing like that. If you've lived in the house for five years and you're responsible enough, you get to buy it. How's that? You know, all different things, but it's, it's not the point of how the social structure is. It's the point that we need that type of housing because there's that many people on the planet and we're not willing to go to space to find another planet because we'll have to fight for another planet. So this is our planet and we've got to look after it. 
And the only way you can look after it with 9 billion people on the planet is building stuff like that. And then you've got to appreciate that it's got to be rebuilt within a certain amount of time. So it's going to have a 100-year life. And you can't say, oh, I'm going to stretch it to 120 years. It's got to be a 100-year life. And if you've got a monetary system, you've got to pay for that. So the mortgage has got to be paid. And then after the mortgage is paid, yeah, all the rent's paid, yeah, you've got to carry on paying maintenance. So in 100 years, the building is paid for itself and can be ripped down and paid for again. You can't let the kids of the future pay for everything. You've got to have a system in there to allow the future to do the future stuff and not pay for the past. Your society's shit. I'm miles cleverer, miles cleverer than all of you. And unless you're doing exactly what I'm saying you're going to do, yeah, you're thick and I'm not going to breed with you. It's as simple as that. Right? Are you, are you ever get Look, it's frozen up, mate. Do you see that? Do you see the screen? I'm only pointing at the screen because it's frozen up. Alright? I'm just proving my point. I'm watching the television as well. I'm watching this television, and I'm getting expressions off this television when I'm speaking, which are not what they're saying. Not what they're saying at all. But you're flicking their Vs at the screen. These people... I've, I caught it on camera. Go back and watch it. They flicked their Vs at the screen. And this is on a British television. You can't flip your V's at the screen on a nice little beautiful television show like this. That's offensive. If, if, if the BBC, what is it? The B, I don't know what, what, what is it. Is the BBC? No, it's Channel 5. If Channel 5 don't get thousands and thousands of complaints for, um, for uh, having, whatever his name, Ponce, Poncey, that garden lover, he flicked his V's at the screen, mate. You can't flick your V's at the screen when you're on television. You've got to set an example. Anyway, right, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely sorry that it was a boring video and you're all just looking at a television screen and listening to me rant. But I do hope that someone understands what I was saying. And the DNA-looking buildings is not only a great idea, it's a bloody amazing idea. And if you don't like them, then I've got an even better idea than that. And if you want to start building them, that's even better. And that is completely enclosed cities. So it's like a dome. You can make it whatever shape you want, but a dome is the best one, like, yeah? And within that dome, there is no insects. There is there's no diseases anything is completely homologically sealed, whatever you call it. It's like a biosphere, like, yeah? And there's nothing inside it. It's just a living area for humans to be in. And then there's another biosphere, yeah? And that's just agricultural. And that's got only the flies that we need to produce the plants that are in there, yeah? And so on and so forth, so we don't get no diseases inside the plants and what have you. Now, like, we build these domes. Well, let's say a dome, which is the size of London, Instead of having like 7 million people or 10 million people like London's got, it's got a billion people in it. It's the size of London. Yeah. So that means we can take the entire population of England and stick it into something the size of London. And then the rest of England can have forests going on it naturally. And have foxes and badgers and beavers going around the rivers just nicely. Yeah, And we can live in these great big vast domes and let nature carry on. And then when we want to go out into nature, yeah, we're in nature, not something controlled, we're in nature, so we need to go out in biomechanical suits. So if a lion attacks you, it can't kill you. But you can experience a lion attack and not die. It's amazing, absolutely, but it's natural, not some fucking holographic shit like Star Trek. It's fucking real and in your fucking face, mate. But you don't die. Imagine getting mauled for fun by a lion. Until it gets bored of you and just walk, oh, I ain't really dying, mate, and then it gets bored of <laughs> walks off. Of course, the older lions are not going to attack you, but the kids will. You can have, you can have a tussle with a lion, you know what I mean? It'd be fucking great in my world. But you want God. You want God, don't you? You believe in religious shit, don't you? You believe in one, don't you? Well, I'm an evolutionist. And I want some excitement. 
That's what I've done my hard work. That's what I've gone to work and just fix cars all day because I'm a garage mechanic. Well, I'm a garage mechanic. Yeah? I want to have some fun. And I want to play hard. I don't want to fucking have a dunce conversation in a fucking pub with a bunch of fucking credits and have a cretin and have a punch up about it. I want to go and get mauled by a fucking lion, but survive. Be either on my side or on the God Squad side. Be on my side, but have a better world. I want to pull down the churches, destroy them.